I don't know if it's possible, they say that scientifically they say it's possible I don't know if it's uh, actually going to become physically possible I do think that people of a certain level, like people spiritually they can actually go um, see back and see forward so somebody can look at the past so that you could be able to work out what your past lives were and what happened and there's people that said they can look forward like I know there was one Mahapurik who came to south of UK like Brighton area, that, that, you know, down the south and they said, please bless this house, innit? And they go, can't bless this house. They're like, why? They're like, it's just Barney here. All I see is Barney. <laughs> so in the future, like, it's probably going to, you know, south of England is probably going to drown, given the global warming and stuff, innit? Yeah? So, you know, so the fact is, they, the people can see, because like time is dimension, people can travel within dimensions. Yeah? And, and so, like uh, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, I don't know if you know this, you know that Guru Nanak Dev Ji went to Mecca and Baghdad, yeah? you heard about that, right? There's a video on our channel talking about it. When they went to Baghdad, was well, Baghdad, yeah? They were there, and uh, the guy who was Bir Dastagir, he came over, and Guru Sahib said, Pata la pata, lak agasa agas. He goes, that's a blasphemy, you can't tell there's seven, there's millions of heavens and millions of hells, there's only seven. So the Quran says. There was a big debate about it, and Guru Sahib said to him, alright, he held his seal, give me your son for a second, he held on to his hand. Then they disappeared. And they travelled all the dimensions, they came back with Prashad. They disappeared and they came back. But this time they had a pot in their hand, full of Prashad. They went to all the dimensions and they picked up Prashad to prove that these places existed. You must say, whoa, freaky. But Guruji could do that interplanetary and inter interdimension travel. Now, what we know of human capability is very limited. We only know what normal people can do. Yeah? For example, St. Francis of Assisi is a Christian saint, well known for being able to speak, speak to animals and being in two places at once. Okay? Good, uh, Baba Hanam Singh, a saint in the Sikh tradition of last century, yeah? he has written a book called Sikh Naya. You should read that book, Sikh Naya. A very beautiful book yeah, about his life. At one point, he was in Punjab and the kid who was like an old family friend of his, that he used to always go and help. He was in England and he'd fallen off the path a little bit and he was going to start drinking and all that kind of stuff and go down the wrong way. And um, uh, Baba Hanam Singh appeared to him. He was sitting, he was sitting in a park, Baba Ji appeared to him. Not f he thought Baba Ji had physically come to the park. Yeah? Physically appeared to him, told him, you know, you need to sort yourself out, it's not good what you're doing. He was like, Hanji, Hanji, uh, you must tell me where you're living and stuff. I'll come and see you. And then he phoned up his parents and said, I met Babaji, where are they staying? They're like, Babaji's here. He never left. So, it's called, um, it's called astral projection. And people do practice this. And a lot of the Mahapuriks can do this as well. Okay? So, there are things that are possible. But I'm not sure whether we could actually make a, uh, a machine anybody can go into and try and travel. Maybe we can get Avasta and then we could see what happened in the past, see what happened in the future. And we could see our past lives. A lot of people have been able to see their past lives and they get spiritually enlightened.